We now have a feel for a wave on a string, where we just have a one-dimensional string and we think about its displacement versus time. But what we want to do is waves of the electromagnetic field. Right? We want to do light. So we have to think about something more complicated than a string. We have to think about a field. So if we're going to do the wave equation for a field, we need to have derivatives of the field and how to deal with integrals and derivatives and calculus with a field. And you've sort of done some of it with Gauss's law and vector flux, but we have to go a little bit farther to think about the derivatives. Let's start with something very fundamental. The fundamental theorem of calculus. Very exciting topic, the fundamental theorem of calculus. It means a bunch of things. I'm going to give you one equation that sort of tells you the fundamental theorem of calculus, the integral from a to b of f of x dx equals a different function, big F, at b minus big F of a. Where if, where if f of x is basically the derivative dx. I'm giving you the big picture. There is a thousand details about things being integrable and differentiable on the scale of real plane of real numbers, all that stuff. I'm not giving you all that. Okay, so a real math professor can give you all the corollaries and axioms. This is basically what it is. In fact, I'm going to make it even worse. I'm going to give it to you in words. Okay? What this is trying to tell you is that the integral of a derivative um, over a region is related to the value at the boundaries. Okay? So you first see this when you do simple single variable calculus, one dimensional calculus. But I'm going to try to show you that this applies when you go into fields. So let's remember this basic idea. The integral of a derivative, this is actually the derivative of big F, the integral of a derivative over a region A to B is related to the value at the boundaries, the value of the big function, B minus the big function A. So in 1D, this is fairly simple. You can think of it as walking. Okay? Let's say we're walking and um, F is our position versus time. And we're walking, oh, we'll go really fast, get excited, I'll slow down like that. And we're going to go from A to B as we walk along. Right? We're walking along, walking along. And all this is really saying is if we add up all of our steps, we get the total distance we went. That's really all it's saying. Because it's saying all we got to do is add up all of our little steps. Well, F in this case is the rate, <coughs> is the speed at which we're walking. So we take the speed we're going times little time intervals, that's giving us a little DFs. Right? So it's just saying in this little bit of time, we took this little step, and the next minute we took that step, and the next second we took that step. And if you add up all the steps, you get the total distance from A to B. That's all it's saying. The integral of a derivative over a region is related to the value, the values at the boundaries. So let's apply that to fields and see what happens. 